Hey guys, I'm excited to share three things with you today. The first is how to move the robot to different positions on the table. The second thing is what are the benefits of moving your robot to here or here or here instead of just having the robot shoot from the back of the table. And the third thing, this is the most important, what are the specific drills that are going to benefit you? What kind of creative variations can that cause with Power Pong robot training? I've seen thousands of robot drills from users worldwide. People love using Power Pong robots. From New Zealand to Australia to India to Japan to Germany to Canada, people all over the world are using Power Pong robots. But not that many people are using this variation. So I want you to be one of the first to try it out. So your robot is probably resting on the table like this. So make sure you take the side nets off. Take this side off, go around, and then take the other side off. That's the first important step. The next thing is decide if you want to put the robot slightly on this side or slightly on that side. Let's put it over here. So all we're going to do is grab the robot from the bottom, lift it up, and just put it right there on the table. Now, as you can probably guess, the drills are programmed to shoot in this direction. So what's going to happen? Some of these balls are still going to land, okay? And these balls are going to go on the floor. So the thing that's really unique about Power Pong robots is the ability to adjust the head. A lot of other robots out there, you actually can't do it. So if you were to put the robot here, it would be just shooting balls on the floor. So what you're going to do is you're going to just grab this screw down here and turn it so that the head of your robot is facing Kind of the center line of the table slightly more to this side of the center line again you want the table to be in the range here same exact thing from here if you were to move the robot to this side you would want the robot's head to be pointed here in this direction now how do you test to see if you got it straight well you just go on the power pong app you drag one ball to the middle and then you play one ball and if it goes to the center, you're pretty good. If the ball is programmed in the middle for the app, but it's being thrown too much to this side, just loosen up the head and turn it slightly more to the middle. If the ball is being thrown on this side, loosen up the head and bring it back to the middle. Once you have this ball going to the center of the table, deep to the center, most of the drills are going to work. The exception is gonna be because there's a longer distance, some of the short balls to the backhand may be clipping the net. So you might have to increase the speed by one or two in order to get it to clear the net. So what's the benefit of having the balls thrown from here versus from the center? It creates a different angle. Just like in a match, if you're playing the ball to their middle, they have this possibility, the ball is coming from here. As soon as you play the ball here, they can still play down the line, they can still play middle and cross, but now the possibilities are wider. So if the ball is coming from here, you have to position your body here. If the ball is coming from further over here, you need to position your ready position slightly more there. And we've talked about this in previous videos as far as anticipation and probabilities and indicators. Your ready position should not just be directly in the center of the table, but it should be based on where the ball is coming from. So if you're playing a match and you play to the wide backhand, your ready position for the next ball is going to be slightly more this way because we know the ball is coming from this direction. If you play to the wide forehand in a match, you know that the ball is coming from here, so you need to ready position your ready position needs to be more there. When you push short in a match, the opponent steps forward and directly push short right off the bounce. So it has a very, very small trajectory coming back. If you just practice with your robot from back here, it has a little bit of a deeper trajectory. It doesn't quite perfectly simulate playing with a person on short game. For that reason, I would recommend moving your robot forward. So again, as we talked about earlier, grab the robot from the bottom and just move it to here. Now, as you can see, the net here is in the way. So if I really want to get it closer, all I'm going to do is fold the power pong net just like this, and I'm going to move the robot even closer. 
This is really ideal when dealing with short and low balls, short and high balls, half long balls. Now, as you can see, the robot's head is pointed this direction. So what do I have to do? Just like we did earlier, unloosen this screw and turn it forward. Not all robots have this ability to be able to adjust the head, but I'm really thankful PowerPong does because we can create these interesting variations. Now you can have the robot on this side or you can have it on this side, but we're just choosing to do it from the backhand side today. So we're gonna test one ball to make sure that we're going right to the middle of the table. Now there's one other adjustment that needs to be made on the PowerPong app, and that is adjusting the speed. Obviously the distance is very, very close, so your speed is gonna be quite low. And because there's no net now, you will have the responsibility of picking up the balls. But this is just an interesting variation that I'd like for you to add, maybe at the last 10 or 15 minutes of each practice session. Being more adjustable against different types of balls from different positions is an important part of development. So I want you to try it out. Try it out just for a week and let me know how it goes. There are hundreds of different drills that you can do from this position or from that position, but I'm gonna show you two categories of drills. The first is isolating one ball. So I'm giving a half long backspin ball, I'm giving a short backspin ball, or a slightly higher backspin ball. This exact drill that I love doing with multi-ball, you can do with the robot, except even better. Because instead of the coach feeding you multi-ball, the coach can actually be walking around, coaching you, giving you advice, and he can see the angle from 360 degrees while the robot's giving you the ball. And if your coach is not available, your robot is always available. <laughs> The next drill is a backspin topspin combination. So the robot, or me with multi-ball, is gonna give two short backspin balls followed up by one topspin ball. So the short low backspin ball, the player pushes, the next short backspin ball, the player plays flip, and then the topspin ball, they loop. Same exact thing with the power pong robot. So you're gonna program it for short backspin, short backspin, and then deep topspin. This is a three ball combination. So as you can see with these two types of drills, we're really able to isolate the short ball from a short position, and then we're able to combine the short ball with the ball afterwards. So what I would recommend is practicing these short game drills from here, from here, from here, and then also do it from that side. It's gonna make your practice a little bit more adjustable. That's really what you want, is not just developing a technique that gets, works against one type of ball, but works against different types of balls and is always challenging you. Same thing that I've told you with your power pong robot training in the past. Instead of always having the backspin at minus two, sometimes have the backspin at minus one or minus three. Sometimes add a little bit of side spin. Sometimes put the trajectory up a little bit higher. Sometimes train with the balls per minute a little bit faster than you want or a little bit slower. Becoming more adjustable is one of your big keys to succeed against a new opponent, that opponent that you've never played against before. 
at your next tournament. <laughs>